Today, we're fishing for giant bass in small ponds. Over the past six months, we've been to hidden ponds, farm ponds, and even ponds that have had 15 pound bass caught in them. But today I wanted to switch things up. We're going to new ponds that we have never fished before in hopes to find some giant bass. So without further ado, let's go ahead and head out to our first spot. All right, boys and girls, let's get this started, man. This place is looking so good. We got us a black and blue chatter donk with a fluke on the back of it. Got it paired up on my Kicking Their Bass TV X Loose combo. If you guys want to check them out, kickingtheirbass.com. I appreciate anybody and everybody who supports the brand now. We're going to be doing a lot of fan casting today. Obviously, we'll throw up on the lily pads a ton, but we're going to be throwing a lot out in the middle as well. We don't know the lay of the water out here. There could be some good drop offs, some really nice grass patches. So we're going to be throwing anywhere and everywhere to see if we can target some fish that are stacked up in the middle as well. But I feel like it's just going to be a lot of moving. This is a big lake. It's going to be a lot of moving, a lot of casting. More importantly, a lot of covering water. Come on, baby. Let's get us started with a big old giant. Get us a 12 pound lunker today. Just imagine. Dude, we got some good depth in here. It's one thing I like to play around with when I'm at a new spot that I've never been to, I tend to throw my bait out there and just let it sink and do a little countdown. I can almost tell you what the depth is by that. Like if we throw out here, let our bait hit the water and just watch our line. Oh dude, yeah. Dude, we got some really good depth in here. Like that's probably around 10 foot out there in the middle. It's actually crazy. Most ponds tend to be, you know, I'd say seven foot max. But that's at least eight to 10 foot out there. All right, we're gonna keep on moving around. Let's go down uh, by this tree over here. What a beautiful day to be out on the water. You know, fall time's approaching us. We're done with those 100, 110 degree summer days. And uh, there is not a better time to be on the water than the fall time. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. One thing I wish I brought was some boots. Oh boy, it's pretty grassy. It is pretty grassy. Last thing we need is a little slithery boy to come approach us, man. One thing I don't like is snakes. I don't wanna do that today. It's a very naturey place. I could totally see some little slithery boys crawling up on me. And we got us a lily pad. That's the first catch right there, son. Come here. It's like this whole bank's pretty open, but with the grass and how it sinks down, it is kind of hard to fish. We need to come out here early one morning with a frog, man, and fish the edge of these pads. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, I have a hard time believing there's not no big bass in these pads. See, this is one of those like ponds, lakes that you want like a John boat or a kayak in there's so much water like i can only fish so much from the bank here if we had like a little jumbo that would be fire like back in this corner there's like a little creek back there you see that bird that just dove down look at that like that pocket i bet it's fire all right keep walking keep walking and hunting one thing to think about when you're fishing a pond that's this big as well is when these fish stack up especially this time of year this whole side of the lake like this thing goes like miles deep this whole side of the lake could have like no fish on it and a majority of the fish could be on the other side. So that's another thing that we're thinking about today. We can try to cover as much water as we can, but like I said, there might not be a ton over here. So many lily pads, but there's not many trees. So that looks so good, man. It's in the shade. You got lily pads, you got a tree hangover. How is there not a bass there? You got grass. So no bites yet. And you know what I just realized? I put my Big Bass Energy hat on earlier and I totally took it off for some reason. And that could mess up our success rate, man. We might have to go back to the truck and get us a dang Big Bass Energy hat, baby. Come on. I swear, 30 more minutes without a bite, you know. <laughs> I'm not too superstitious, but man, that Big Bass Energy hat, baby. All right, let's not get distracted. I love how this sets up. Finally got us a pocket here. You got this little point, and you also probably have a good ditch in the middle. 
This looks good. And one thing that you want to pay attention to here, this wind just started picking up. And if you can tell the wind is funneling in this pocket, that should be a prime area. There's fish anywhere they should be here. That bank we were fishing was just kind of, you know, it was just a straightaway bank. You want to find any divots and going back into this pocket, like I said, prime, it's prime. Exactly what you want. We need to make some good casts here. I saw some like bubbling. Oh yeah, they're they're busting out there, dude. Busting. <sighs> Way out there in the middle. There we go. Gosh, I beamed that thing. There we go. Slow rolling on the bottom, baby. They're bait popping. He is not fighting at all. What do I got? Is this even a fish? Oh, it is. It's a baby. It's just a little baby. <laughs> what in the world, man? Hey, I know we're fishing for these lunkers today, man. Trying to find these pond monsters. But that is our first fish of the day. And look how he ate it, man. And there's one thing that we did differently on this fish catch. And I was trying to do it earlier. I just wasn't patient enough. I let this thing hit the bottom and we're slow rolling, as slow as possible. Sunny day today. These fish are probably more positioned on the bottom of the pond. And there we go, we got our first fish. That is not a big one by any means. If anything, it's one of the smallest fish I've caught recently. But that gets us started, man. That's all we needed. That's all we needed was a bite to give us the confidence we need. All right, we're still fishing the same lake but I drove all the way down to one of the other sides. We're just gonna start fan casting over here. This looks a lot different. It's a lot less open than the other side was. Let's see if we can find some fish stacked up. I was hoping when we caught that first fish, we were gonna find a lot stacked up in that area, but it just never happened. Let's throw around this new spot just for a little while. And uh, if we don't have any bites, guys, we're just gonna keep on moving, hit some different places, and uh, keep today rolling. See, look at this, this is the mouth of like a little tiny pocket. I kind of want to walk down just a little bit and you see that dock over there, I want to fish that. If there were less lily pads, I'd feel more comfortable about fish stacking up on the isolated patches. But if you look at that dock over there, that's the only dock that we've seen on this whole pond. There was like no way for me to fish this dock without just getting on it. I want to throw down the front of this. We have so much shade. All right, guys. I think it's time to abandon this place, to be honest with you. We just haven't haven't got the bites that we wanted. We had one bite and it was a really small one. I still think there's big fish that live in here. We're definitely gonna have to come back out and try it another time. But for the sake of the video and for the sake of us catching fish, we're gonna keep on moving and find us a new spot. All right, guys, this is a new day and it's a new me, man. Yesterday was so weird. And I want you guys to see this. There is something chasing bait Right as we pulled up, we have never been to this place. We have a different strategy today, guys. We're gonna hit as many ponds as we can. Oh my gosh, there's a big gator on the bank. Just cross the street over here. See what we got. Let's watch out for gators, man. There we go. Okay. Well, we are uh, just on the small fish board. These last two days. I mean, yesterday we caught one fish, which was crazy. That's super rare. And today we we're already on board pretty fast, but that guy's tiny. And I have a hard time believing that these ponds only have small fish. It does not make sense to me. By the end of this video, I'm gonna call it guys. We're gonna have some big fish. Oh my gosh, dude. There ain't no way, bro. That was literally instantly, dude. We're switching up the strap, okay? We go in chatter chatter donkey, baby. Okay, back to the chatter McDonk. All right, pond number six, man. Cannot believe we made it this far. Already, very fast. And there's actually pond number seven on the other side, and there is a fisherman at pond number seven. So maybe that's a good sign. Maybe there's some big ones in here. You got some stained water. Most of the ponds that we fished today have been pretty clear. And this one's got some good old stain action. 
I don't know. I just feel like a big and can live in here. This feels this feels kind of nice. I'm not gonna lie. So the water in this pond is a little different. I don't even know if they connect. I thought there was gonna be like a pipe. See, this pond right here is way clear. This one's clear, and the one on the other side is murky. I like that. Oh, there's a bass right there. Small one. Okay. Let's do a little hop ski turn around make a cast it's so weird when you see ponds next to each other you usually expect them to connect but like i said with how this water is in here and how the water is in there 100 percent don't connect no pipe no nothing two individual ponds i'm really not feeling it man we just gotta keep on hunting just gotta keep on going that's how today's gonna be dirty 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 it's a bait fish or some bluegill Oh, dude, that might be a bass right there, bro. I see a bass right here on my right. That is not a bass. That was a piece of wood. Man. Thought we were about to snag one real quick. All right, nope, 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 nope. Not it. The pipes look crazy. I'm done with this. I am done. I have a whole new idea. Whole new game plan. This is just not working. You know where we're at. I felt so good about this spot yesterday and it just never panned out. We're back, man. I throw the chatter donk off the rip. See if we can get a reaction bite. See if we can get something just to pop off right now. I mean, we saw fish bust in here yesterday. We had a couple good bites. There's a lot of structure on the bottom. There's a lot to feel good about in this place. Just nothing happened. I'm starting to think, you know, our game plan today should have been in throw something different than yesterday and put on a lipless crankbait. I and mean, we just had a freaking school of bass. One of them that looked really big go right by us and nothing. All right, here we go. Let's give this worm a shot, man. We had some good bites on it yesterday here. I'm too hungry for this, man. By day three, I was exhausted, but after having two rough days in a row and only catching two bass, I wanted to go out to some ponds that we have fished in the past. And let's just say day three did not disappoint. All right, boys and girls, day number three, man. The first two days have been a grind today, a little different conditions, clouds in the sky, and we're actually fishing some ponds that we've fished before because those two days, we're just ridiculous and i'm ready to get on some big fish today we we have to catch them today we are not dragging this out any longer and i have a feeling we're going to smoke some big ones we're starting off with the chatter donk today with these clouds the sun actually just started peeking through but hopefully we catch some of these bass moving around and hook a couple big ones oh my god we got one There we go, dude, right off the rip. Right off the rip, they might be biting. And it's a mudfish. I am so confused. What is going on? I thought he felt weird. Dude, we just caught a mudfish on our third, on our third cast. What is going on, dude? Okay, calm down. He just flopped my fluke in the water. Okay, buddy, you calm down. You calm down for me. Dude, I'm so confused. Well, I will say that is a uh, quick start. Did I think we were going to catch a mudfish? No, I did not. But <laughs> that is a fish and we're on board already for day three. Dude, what in the world, man? That is so crazy. Well, let's get another fluke on here. Well, let's keep casting around. Maybe that's a good sign. I don't know if we can relate with how the mudfish are biting to how the bass are going to bite today, but I'm going to take that as a good sign. And we are on board. Now let's keep the momentum. We only caught one fish on day one and one fish on day two. And now with a couple casts into day three, you can say we already did as good as the last couple of days. There's actually some fish popping out here in the middle too. We're gonna start making some fan cast. And the water in this pond, is like very tannic. 
Dude, there's a big boil right there. We're gonna make a ton of casts in this pond. There are some monsters in here too. This spring we caught some absolute Donkosaurus Rexes in here. So we know they live in here. We're gonna see some five and six pounders today. I just feel it. Conditions are a lot different. We actually waited two days. We waited two days to fish after those two days we fished back to back. So I just felt like the fishing was not it. Oh my gosh. He's on, he's on the bank. He's on the bank. Got his Let's go, dude. My bait is up in the tree and my pole is dangling, but we just got us a good two pounder, man. Oh my gosh. Dude, they're biting today, guys. I feel it. They are biting today. It was worth taking a two day break, I'm telling you. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Not a giant by any means, but that is a good fish. Let's go, son. Come on. Turn me up. All right, what do we got going on here? Dude, it's always something, man. Listen, I'll take a little bit of this today if the fishing's good, but not too much of this. Come on. Why are you so stuck? There we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yo, what is going on today, man? Catch a mudfish off the rip. Get a crazy bassy right at the bank. And our pole is dangling from a tree. It's gonna be a crazy day. We already have a lot of action. All right, we're gonna make a couple more casts down this bank. I just have a weird feeling there's gotta be another one. There's a lot of trees, a lot of lay downs right here. And I promise you that's not the only fish there. Let me double check my line, dude. It feels good, which is kind of crazy. Hopefully that's not a mistake, but we're not gonna retie this. We're, <laughs> we're gonna keep on casting. So there's actually a good bit of wind today too. And there's no wind on this pond. This is like kind of hidden, which honestly makes me feel good. Cause if we're getting bites in a pond with no wind, I just, I'm telling you they're biting today. All right, we're gonna keep on fishing around this corner and then we'll go down that bank some more. And get ready for a big one, boys. I feel it right down that bank. Where big mama lives. What in the world was that? All right, we're going deep in the forest. We're going into forest, baby. That's where the big ones hide. Fish down this bank a little bit more. There's gotta be more on it. It's always the hot zone. There we go, that's what's all up on the banks. All right, guys, we're actually we're gonna call it here on this pond. We're gonna move to another spot, but we already caught two fish. We've caught as many fish as we did in those two days on the first pond in day three. I'm feeling really good. And we're gonna hit a bunch of different places today. So let's keep on going and see if we can find us a big one. All right, we're in some big fish territory right now. So hope they're eating in here. We got a good bit of wind on this pond too. Let's hope they're eating as good as they started in this one. This water does look a lot murkier. We haven't fished this place in a long time. I've caught some of the biggest fish in this area in this pond. Ooh, I just had a bite right there. That's a weird little bite. I like grabbed the back of it. There's a little boil in the water, a little dust cloud. So I grabbed the back of it. There we go. Bro, we are, we're moving today. We, we are moving today, man. You can tell they're not eating it that good because they're all coming off right at the bank. But they're hitting it. That's all that we want. Look at that bird. Thought he was going to come get him a snack. Thank you, buddy. Little fat guy. Not a big one. But hey, we'll take him. That is three fish, dude. What's going on here? Now we just need them big ones, man. Keep that momentum. And they're chasing a moving bait. That's even better. We're having to throw that dang Texas rig the first day. For the first two days. I mean, we tried this, we only had one on it. So in this pond, there's a lot of big boulders, like concrete blocks, about 10 to 15 foot off the bank. And they hold some good fish. They start about right where I just casted. Oh, I don't know if I was on a concrete block or I got bit. They usually hold some good fish. 
You gotta be careful too though, because you can get snagged on them things easy. Yeah, we're going over the top of them now. Oh no. We didn't bring another one out here. Here we go, we're off, we're off. Those are them concrete blocks, they'll do it to you. Look at that. Probably should have checked my line, but there's a fish popping right up on us. Feels good. Just gotta be careful. We don't want to lose all our baits today. That's not what we came out here for. <gasps> Gosh, I was sick. I watched them eat it right in front of me. Let's go, man. Come on. Not a big one. Still have yet to get into those big ones today. That first one was decent. Look at that. That's a chunky boy. That's a chunky boy. That was a sick eat. That's two fish today that we've had to eat right at the bank, too. I'm talking like right up on us. Gosh, man. All right, fish number four. What are we doing? So crazy because the water's like dirty in here, but I saw him with that sun up, you know, put that bait in his mouth. He was right on the bank. Oh, dude, another bite, bro. They are munching, man. So crazy. So crazy to me how the days can flip like that. We went out two days and couldn't even barely buy a bite. Today, the conditions are a little different. We waited a few days and they're just like, I'm telling you, man, that's four bites in this pond already. That's unreal. It's been less than 10 minutes. When you've been fishing less than 10 minutes and you have four bites, that is, that's what you want, man. It'll be a good day. Most of the big ones are about where I cast. Oh, dude, I'm telling you, man, what is happening? This, this is unreal. I felt like a decent bite too. I, I hit that concrete block, hopped over it, and boom. Uh oh, that's a better one. There we go. He's way out there in the middle. We're just gonna skeet him on in here. Bigger than the first two in here. I don't even know, man. He's about the same size. He's fat. You got him right in the nose, right below the eye. Okay, we need you to grow, buddy. Tell your mama and grandmama to start biting now. We need them to grow. We've had plenty of small ones. You guys see what I'm doing? We got a good bit of wind pushing through here. Just a nice ripple, consistent. And I'm throwing parallel to this bank a good bit. But also what I'm doing. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, that's a better one. Gosh. Also what I'm doing is throwing a cross here. Oh yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Don't get stuck in that. There you go. It's a little better. Not big, but a little better. So what I was getting to, throwing parallel on this bank, making sure we're hitting that. Because if you guys saw the first couple of days, we walked up on some fish. That's the last thing that you want. So we're still throwing parallel. And what we're also doing is throwing directly across. And that's exactly where I just caught this one. What it does is it's pretty flat on that bank how it is up here. And it has a little drop off in the middle. And what we're doing is throwing across, fishing that shallow end, and then dragging it on that drop off. And this fish was right on the drop off of that flat. Right there, son. Could be a great way of catching those fish. I don't even know what fish number that is, man. But we have been smoking them. Thank you, buddy. Man, I'm just waiting on that big one. Sometimes you gotta weave through the small ones to get to the big ones. And that seems like what's happening today. But I'll tell you, the first two days we would have done anything to catch some small ones like that. So we're just blessed to be catching them today. With us catching that fish over there on that flat, we're gonna cover that really good. There might be some more. Like today's a cloudy day. Yes, we got a little bit of sun, but when those clouds are up, those bass start roaming. And I mean, we've caught fish in the middle. We've caught them up shallow. We've caught them right at our feet. We've we've done a little bit of everything. Therefore, we are doing everything that we can um, with our cast today. Don't really want to leave every anything out. Should get a bite here. I mean, he ate it, dude. I'm talking. I had a foot of line out right there. That would have been hard to even hook set if I, if you would have ate it all the way. Unreal, dude. Why are y'all all this small? 
Just why? Just why? Why are you this small, buddy? Thank you for biting, though. They're chunky, I'll tell you that. You guys got a little gut on you. So we're gonna start heading back. We're gonna make some casts here and there. Just kind of cover some water while we're walking back. And uh, then we're gonna go to a new spot. I still have hopes so that we can catch a big one in here. But, I mean, the odds just have not been good today. So with that being said, we probably need to just go to a new one. But like I said, a few more casts. Make sure we cover the water how we need to. It's hard to leave fish the fine fish, but if we want those palm monsters, we gotta keep going. There we go. That's a little better. All the way across. See, this little section right here, we didn't fish. We weren't throwing over as much, so I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna throw over there. A little longer. Really about the same size still. I don't get it. I mean, you're a little bigger. Let me get you off, buddy. Y'all are chomping though. You guys must be hungry. Haven't been eating all week. Today's been your first eating day. These fish are cold too, man. This water's starting to cool off. We're in that transition mode. Looks like that fall bite starting to pick up. This might be the, the change that we needed. There we go. That's better. Look at that. Look at how dark he is. I'm telling you, he was up. He was up in that concrete right there, man. I hopped right over to that concrete. That's that's one of the first fish we caught that were straight out of that rock. You can tell by the color of them too. Usually they're that dark when they're in the grass, but I bet him being up in that concrete just made them dark. Beautiful, man. Just not what we need. A little healthier, more filled out than the other fish. Pretty cool colors. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, baby. Man, guys, this pond has been good, but to be fair, it's just not the size we were wanting. But if anything, we got a ton of momentum. I'm glad we finally caught a lot of fish. But with that being said, we have to search for some bigger ones. So uh, let's go ahead and head out to our next spot. All right, pond number three of the day. With how they're biting today, especially how they're biting that last pond, oh my gosh, if we can just get it on some big ones like that, that would be unreal. It's like hard to leave ponds when they're biting, but at the same time, if they're not big, we just gotta keep moving today. So there's actually a big brush pile over here out in the middle. Oh, oh, oh no, look at that. There's another big bull right where I'm at, look at that. There's, there's another one right there. There's another one right there, what's going on? There's another one out there. Oh, this might be the spot, come on. Start eating, man, we need some momentum now. We had way too much momentum in the last pond. We had the small fish momentum. All right, let's run back to the truck, tie on something new and come back out here. All right, we're gonna start walking down this way and fish this side of the pond. We'll just put that same smoking chad fluke we had on the chatter dunk. Weightless on an extra wide gap hook. This is something that we can work fast. We can work slow. And more importantly, we can go through the grass really well. Guess we need to go grab our bread and corn and we could be catching some dang big old carp. Look at the boils. You're telling me that's all carp. No, it's a bass. Oh my gosh, that was a big one. Hold on, I took my tail. Two big bull. Biggin. Biggin. Come here, boy. It's a three pounder right there. Come on. Oh, we're about to smoke him. Mm. Let's go, son. Let's go. Finally, man. Dude, I think these actually might be some good bass up on the bank. I think, I think it's a mixture. I do think there's carp up there, too. But I think a lot of these are some freaking brutes like that, man. <laughs> Look at that pretty fish. That one's almost three pounds. He's probably two and three quarters. He's just not fat enough. Or not long enough. He's fat enough. Thank you, Bubba. Oh my gosh. Come on. There's a pop right off the bank and a blow up right on the bank. I just... Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's a little tiny one. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, he went tick, 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 tick. I was like running back. That is the smallest fish of the day. Holy cow. Look at that. <laughs> he's fat, but he's tiny. Stop it, buddy. I want to get you back. Oh, man. We do not want to catch these because I want to say this might be my last fluke. I have some ones that we've already used, but as far as like perfect flukes, it just might be my last one. So I do not want to catch any small ones. <laughs> Yep. That's a big one. Oh my gosh. Stay pin, baby. That's another good one. Gosh, come here. Mm. Look at the brute. I mean, these fish are good, dude. Look at that one right there. There's another one that's like high two pounder, almost three. I thought he was bigger than that, but hey, we'll take him. Look at that fat guy. Beautiful fish. Thank you. All right, here we go. We're throwing back in there, man. I'm telling you, there's multiple. That's why. That is why you're that small. You're just an itsy bitsy boy. Pretty colors on this fish though. Super fat, super healthy. Just a weedle guy. I'm gonna give you three years, buddy. You won't, you won't get to catchable size now. You're a pretty one though. You were pretty one. You a fat boy. Look at that belly on him, man. He been, he been munching on that bait. He's sitting at a good location. That small bass is years ahead of himself right now. He's sitting on a prime, a prime piece of territory. All right, I on that pipe. That's money. Come on. I know there's a good one up. Oh, got me. Another small one. Right, now you got us in a mess, buddy. You got us in a mess. What are you doing over here? Did he come off? Oh, no. He's still on. All right, you just... You made this harder for both of us, man. He's tiny, dude. Trying to break us off when he's literally half a pound. Okay, well, we got him out. <laughs> Look at, dude, I'm telling you, that's the future, Ted. Look at how fat, man. They're not big, but they are just brutes. These fish are aggressive. It's seeming like we're about to catch a really big one to catching these tiny guys, man. Totally flip-flopped. Look at that. Going right back in this pocket. Oh, he's on it. That's a good one. He's running. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, he threw my fluke, dang it. It's another one, high two pounder, dude. They're all like twins. I don't, it doesn't make any sense. He was running like he was five pounds. But guess what? I'll take a dang two pounder all day. All day long. Look at that. So I want, I want to talk about something here. This was a prime example of paying attention to your surroundings. We saw a boil, boom, we threw in there, boom, we got bit. That is why when you're fishing, you need to observe everything that's going on. It's so important and it's so easy to get lost, you know, just focused on exactly what you're doing. But once you pay attention to your surroundings, that upgrades you to a whole different level as far as that goes. Most of these fish that we caught on this fluke, we caught because we saw boils. And we were like, okay, we acted quick. If you notice on that as well, we didn't wait. We saw the boil, we reeled in fast, we threw on the fish, boom, we caught it. If we would have waited to work in our cast and then throw over there, we more than likely wouldn't have caught that fish. But since we were, pro at, we were super active with that cast, we got him to bite. Dude, unreal. I just spooked one to my left and I was like, you know what? I need to be thrown in front of me. Boom. Just crazy, dude. Another small one. The trend continues. Thank you, Bubba. All right, guys, that's gonna close today's video. And I just wanna let you guys know, that is why you never give up. We had two bad days of fishing. We still got out here and had an amazing time. Yes, we didn't find those palm monsters, but we had a blast today.